Forty years ago, official studies found no evidence linking asbestos to the health hazards encountered by those exposed to it. But a pulmonary specialist from the Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York City knew it couldn't be mere coincidence that workers who breathed in the fibers developed lung disease in disproportionate numbers compared to the population at large. To use his science to prove, and later to prevent this dreaded disease, this became the life work of Dr. Irving J. Selikoff. Using the methods he learned from his work with tuberculosis, Dr. Selikoff began to explore the occupational dangers of exposure to asbestos in 1953. By 1962, he had amassed enough evidence to suggest such a link. He then contacted the Asbestos Workers Union, Local 12 in New York City and Local Number 32 in Newark, New Jersey. The asbestos workers welcomed the doctor's inquiry as they had long suspected the link, if only from the sheer numbers of their fellow workers who had succumbed to cancer and other work-related diseases. Dr. Selikoff's landmark 1964 study was much more than a pioneering medical breakthrough. It created hope. At last, workers from all trades finally had someone who would listen. Not being content to passively observe, Irving Selikoff got involved personally. You're international, Bill Bernard, Jim Grogan provided the first $50,000, it was the last December, right? To get this underway, so that the future not be a mirror of the past. The past is prologue. But that we not have to go through in the future what we've gone through in the past. And that what you've done will not only have been important in protecting future generations, and I would hope that this is true with abatement workers, not only protect future generations as they ban asbestos, but also prevent the diseases that are our legacies of the past. His work controls asbestos in this country, and although we still today are reaping a fearsome toll in this asbestos epidemic, which is ultimately expected to claim 300,000 lives in this country, Selikoff's work has enabled us to gain the upper hand.